I think this past year, I really took advantage of the men's ministry where they're offering mentorship man to man. We have men and women to pick us up and keep us looking to the cross. To see us all grow together here, it's just a, a bit amazing. I get joy each and every Sunday to see just the faces as, as we sing. My husband was my pastor for 33 years. Great joy to know that the Lord has allowed me to be under such a strong pulpit ministry. And then having the shepherds that we have, Pastor Steve, with such a passion for preaching the truth of the gospel and the word and tying everything in the Bible together, it is truly a blessing and a joy to come to church. I think uh, one of the greatest things I get to hear is just someone saying that being at Grace Bible Church and being in a small group and, and fellowshipping in a, in a mentoring program or coming to women's ministry or men's ministry or um, the various uh, different sermon series that we're doing, that this has changed your life. And honestly, I live for that. I am really nervous about sharing the gospel with people. It's so easy for me now to share the gospel with people that I don't even know. Before I wasn't sure about my salvation, I'm grateful to the Lord for, for being here. There's not really a lot in our control, and so we can be joyful that God is in control. Recently, uh, our family went through just a little bit of a hard time, and it was amazing just the care that we received from the church and the members of the church. Uh, being exposed to the truth of the Bible, being taught systematically, being taught expositorily, um, going through BTI, going in Bible studies, and just the, the multiple avenues of, of hearing God's Word. I'm just so grateful for uh, the Spanish ministry that kicked off, Pastor Alex, uh, and I see that my kids growing and, and they're just hearing the Word and listening to the Scriptures and asking me questions. Probably the hardest thing I ever had to do was come to the realization that God's Word trumps what I used to believe. And so I'm thankful for Grace Bible and helping me read God's Word and correctly divide it. I'm looking forward to see what the year is going to bring and um, I'm very grateful to be a part of this church. Thank you Pastor Steve and the leadership. So they have always encouraged me to always strive for holiness and godliness and to keep running the race faithfully until the Lord calls us home. And then you're able to apply what you've learned and go through it. And when you obey, you get joy. We're walking each other home. Our leaders bring me joy. They do so much, so much that uh, many don't see. And so honestly, I, I really think about um, the Apostle Paul when he was telling the Thessalonians that they were his joy and crown. The thing that excites me the most is that men are learning the scriptures. They are learning to conquer sin. They are learning about their savior. And that is bringing God more glory and more worship. Just the constant appreciation and the, the high standard of the God's word through the pulpit through uh, Pastor Steve Swartz's preaching. Serving in guest care and that has just been so fun and encouraging meeting everybody outside. We have grown in, in, in four years more than what we growth in 14 years in our previous uh, uh, church. I love Grace Bible Church. I love the people here. I love what the Lord is doing here. And all of that combined is what brings me the most joy. There's so much. And I know all of you feel the same way as well. So I'm eager to see what the Lord does in the coming months and years.